Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today I'm going to show you how to cap your pine needles. I use southern longleaf pine needles and they uh, grow in a fascicle with three, in a fascicle with three leaves and a cap. Um, you can coil using the caps, but that's a different technique than I usually do. So I need to remove these caps. I have a method that I use. Um, I soak my pine needles in water for about two to three days. And I have a little glass here. It's a water glass. It's about seven inches tall. And you can see it's clearly marked pine needles so that no one drinks water using it. So I stand the pine needles up stand them up in this glass and let them soak for two to three days. When I'm ready to cap them, I wrap them in a paper towel, wrap them in a paper towel for 10 or 15 minutes to let them rest. <clears throat> then I use this paper towel, I spread it out a little bit, and I use this paper towel to take the caps off so I can collect them so I can throw them away easily. I have a handy little special tool, which is actually just half of a, a wooden clothespin. I took the little prong thing out so that I can use this. What I'm gonna do is place the pine needle, place the pine needle across the clothespin, across my special tool. With, on the flat side, I'm gonna put the pine needle right in there and I'm going to hold that with my thumb. Then in one motion I'm going to pull with my left hand and hold with my right hand and pull. And the cap comes right off. Here's another one. I place it in the groove. I hold it. I pull. Put it in there. Hold it and pull. Do you hear that little pop? This is a fun little piece of trivia. In the end of the pine needle, down in the end, right by the tip, there's an air pocket. And when you pull this cap off, it goes pop. There, now you can see that one split into individual pine needles, and that's okay too. You can still use those. So I put it in my special tool. I pull it across, pop. I can never cap pine needles when my husband's around because that pop drives him crazy. <laughs> All right, I put it in, I pull it, pop. Makes it pretty easy. Then I have to be sure and let them, spread them out to dry for a few days. Now, for some people, that's hard to do all that holding. So there is an alternate method. I don't use it as much because you often get all singletons, all single pine needles. But you can use your needle nose pliers and you can put the pliers right on the end, right on the tip of that pine needle. And you can hold and do the same motion. I'm gonna pull my hands apart. Pop, comes off. Try another one. Put the pliers there. Oop, I missed. Pop. Sometimes that's easier. Sometimes you get lots of singletons. So I put it on there. Uh, pull. That one's not gonna work. Sometimes it will leave a little, like this one did, it left a little sheath on there. I can just easily pull that off with my finger. Pull that little sheath off there. After my pine needles are dry, then I'm ready to get back to coiling. There you go, pop. There you go, pop. So when I'm coiling a basket, I like to use the grouped pine needles with the three and still attached together. It makes inserting easier and hiding the heads easier, in my opinion, 
and it's certainly quicker. But when you get the singletons, whoop, that's not a singleton. They, um, there are good uses for singletons. If, for instance, when you're starting a basket and your coil is very, very tiny, the singles are easier to insert. And sometimes at the end of a basket, when I need just a little bit, I'll use a singleton. In general, though, I like the grouped ones. So when I cap, I like when they stay together. As you can see, I've got a bunch of them here that are capped and are in groups of three. That's how I cap pine needles. And uh, it, it does take some hand strength, but it's a good method. And I hope you will enjoy it and be able to use it. And come join me again. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi, I'm Linda. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified next time I post a new video. Hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot.